What's up guys, it's Monday, yeah! <laughs> Anyways, I hope everybody had a fantastic weekend. I had a very relaxing weekend. Thank you very much for asking because I know everybody's always so concerned about how my weekend was. Anyways, I wanted to show you guys an application today called Clean Master. Now, Clean Master has been in the Play Store for a very, very long time. But the reason why I'm showing it to you today is because recently it's had a massive update with UI overhauls as well as a bunch of uh, additional functions and features, which I think are really, really cool, making, in my opinion, this application a must have for almost every single Android owner out there. So why would you want an application like Clean Master? What does it do? So say, for instance, you go to install an application and it says that you have not enough memory, you're getting low memory warnings, things like that. Uh, this application will take care of that for you. Maybe perhaps you've got an older or slower device and it's running a little bit slower, you know, you can't play games as smooth as you'd like to, this application might be good for you. So let's go ahead and take a look. So here is Clean Master. This is the very first screen that you'll be presented with when you open it up. As you can see, it gives us an idea of the amount of storage that we have free as well as RAM that we have free. Now, if we click on junk files here, this is sort of the first line of defense. So this will build a list. I've already cleared my RAM, or sorry, my memory earlier. So as you can see, I actually cleared 7.6 gigabytes of storage on my device. 7.6 gigabytes I gained back. That's impressive. So if we click on junk files there, like I mentioned before, it compiles a list of the different things. And this first screen here, excuse me, generally is your cache. So different applications cache. As you can see, everything is cache, cache, cache. Before, this list was extremely populated and I cleared up probably a gig or two worth of cache, which was there for no reason. Now, after you've cleared out all your cache, you can go ahead and click on advanced. And this will do a bit of a deeper scan. This starts looking at things like videos, photos, um, applications, old dead files that aren't related to anything anymore. This is what this is for. Um, so you just go ahead and click on whatever it is you need to. Of course, there's nothing in here, but previously before, again, you know, this list was completely populated, but uh, this is where you would clear all that stuff out. And it did a fantastic job of doing that. I was really, really impressed with it. Now to the right of that, we actually have memory boost. So if we click on memory boost here, this shows us all of our running processes. And if we needed to free up some RAM and give it a little bit of a boost, we can recover 38.4 megabytes of RAM. Now up here at the top, you'll notice we've got a little game pad. I really like it when I see game pads and applications. So if we click on the game pad there, this actually brings us to this little game boost screen. So this would be perfect for those of you that are running older uh, devices, lower spec devices, things like that. Um, and maybe for instance, you can't run Dead Trigger 2 as smoothly as you'd like to. Maybe you can't run, you know, Shadow and Dead Zone as smoothly as, you, uh, as you'd like to. Um, this might actually do be the key for you. So if you actually click on it, you'll notice we get this little toast message that says, boost the game by about 24%. Now, if you're gonna ask me, how does it boost the game performance? Magic. I honestly don't know. I looked into it. There was no documentation I could find anymore exactly how it does it. I'm sure though if you contacted the developer, he'd probably let you in on the little magic that they um, pull there. So that's kind of interesting. You can boost the game performance. Um, so if we back out of there, we've also got privacy here. In my opinion, this is completely useless because we can clear out the Google Play Store history automatically, but if I wanted to clear out my call logs, SMS, and so on, I have to do it manually, which I could have just done through those applications themselves anyways. So that's a little bit strange. Um, and then last but not least, we have App Manager here. This is where you can go ahead and uninstall uh, user downloaded applications. And if you have root access, though keep in mind, this application does not require root access to be able to run, okay? So just keep that in mind. If you wanna uninstall system applications, you will require that root, app, uh, root uh, access. So let's go ahead and back out of here. You'll also notice once we get to the home screen, we've got a couple of widgets. There's a little floating widget, and this is a little um, one tap boost widget. This is basically the same thing as giving your RAM a boost, right? So we can go ahead and click on that, it gives us this cool little animation here and it says that we've freed up 39 megabytes of RAM. Yay! So uh, aside from that, we've also got this little thing here so we can click on it and as you can see, these that particular application, Google Plus, is locked in there so I can't kill that. But if there's additional uh, applications or tasks running, I'd go ahead and click on that button. It would kill them for me and uh, Bob's Drunkle. Alternatively, we can go ahead and be fancy with it and drag it and actually drop it on top of the little broom there. and. Um, well, it's supposed to do a very fancy animation. Uh, there we go, abracadabra, and it's given our device a boost, apparently, anyways. Um, so the, the app's free in the Play Store. It's a great, fantastic way to free up memory on your phone. It's a great, fantastic way to speed things up on slower phones, especially those of you that want to be able to run um, resource-hungry games. And of course, best of all, it's free, like I mentioned before. So anyways, as always, I'll be posting the link in the description below. But hopefully you like this application. Hopefully you find it useful. If you did, 
click that likes button down below. It goes a long way. And if you want to, subscribe for more videos in the future. But that is it for this one. Thanks as always for watching, guys. And we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.